pictures. I'm right now. I'm at Aliana's gym class. Want to see? Want to see? Look! 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 Hey, what's up, Reality Changers? We're at Mission Bay right now hanging out. We're having a little bit of ice cream and just relaxing and just enjoying the day. How are you doing? How's everybody doing out there? It's too hot to be at home still. And I want to introduce you to a new family member. This is, what did we name her? Peach, I named her Peach. This is Peach. Say hello to Peach. Peach is really scared because Susie is being very aggressive right now. Susie's over there with Alexa. And we had a separating because Susie's just super territorial. Super. Right? She's very aggressive. Very, very I wonder where she got it from. Mom. Eliana's eating her churros. Churro juice. Eliana's eating churro juice. And look at that. Family down here. People are having bonfires and just enjoying the day and taking a deep breath and introducing this little guy right here. The girl, Dad. Girl, guy, liker. Nancy and I were like, you know, we need to get the kids out of the house because it's just. We can't. She can't. Just have a little bit of family time, you know, and just chill together and just relax. Put, 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 Alexa, what happened, Alexa? Hey, what's up, reality changers? I'm here with the kids at a festival. It's called the Eid Carnival. Uh, I'm not sure what it, it what it really is. I, I know that uh, Nancy's sister, uh, but it's, I, I think it's the equivalent to like the Muslim Christmas. But we're having a really good time. There's a lot of families out here having a great time, and there's reptiles and just Nancy's families over here. And you know, just getting away from the house and being with Dean together. There's all kinds of animals here. Look at that tortoise, a gigantic te tegu from Argentina. That's what they call it. Another tortoise. A, one, a lot of wonderful people here. Come on, Ali, make your family proud. If you don't make this, you're disowned. You're not going to live in our home anymore. Oh, that's it. That's it. You're out of the house. Start getting the job. We get to unemployment benefits. And if she doesn't make it, she's disowned. She did it. You did it? You're such a liar, I saw you. Look, I don't know much about the um, the Muslim culture. I don't know because I'm not Muslim, you know? But I do have a lot of friends that are um, that are Muslim. And I guess this 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 festival, Eid, I think. It's supposed to celebrate like their own Christmas, I think. I'm not I'm not sure, okay? So don't don't quote me on this, okay? Because I know there's been a lot of like religious tension sometimes when I post certain things on Facebook and they're like, oh well, yeah, yeah, Israel and Muslim. I'm like, you know what? Honestly, like I don't know, okay? I know that uh, I have deep respect for different religions. Uh, I was born Catholic myself, um, but I feel like I'm a very open-minded about other people's religions, other people's cultures. Every culture, in my opinion, every religion has their own extreme view of things, you know? I can tell you this. Why can a Catholic nun cover her entire body and devote herself to God and a Muslim woman cover her entire body and devote herself to God but she's considered oppressed? Why can't, why can't a Jew, Jewish man have a beard and devote himself to God and a Muslim man with a beard considered a, a terrorist? You know, things like that. Why can't, why, why is it like that? You know, I don't know. I know that there's a lot of stereotypes, there's a lot of fear, a lot of xenophobia, and you know, being an immigrant myself, I've been perpetrated. I've been I've been looked at as a as, as a as a as a threat to society because I was undocumented once, and so um, yes, come on. Go back. Okay. Oh. And so go 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 go. I was undocumented once, you know, and you guys know the crap that my mom went through to get back to the United States, and a lot of people don't like that. A lot of people hate to, 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 to believe that society isn't easy. It's complicated, it's very complex. And there's there's a lot of things that other that countries do to each other to hurt each other and politics and there's so much hatred towards other people and it's very sad. I, I come to this festival with respect. You know, my, may, I may not know how to properly 
um, respect and honor them, but I'm here because I'm in solidarity with them as well, just as, as much as I am with like the Jewish community and the Catholic community, the Christian community, and the communities all over the world, you know? And this is, my, this is what I'm saying to you all. Be open-minded. Every religion has its own faults. Every religion has its own extremists. There's Buddhists that are, you know, violent in, in, in Tibet, you know, that they are they're particularly violent. Look it up. There is every, every religion has its extremists. Every religion has its passion, has its lefts, has its rights, has its conservative, has its Democrat. <coughs> and like I said, I may be wrong. I may, I may be wrong from everything that I'm saying right now. But what I say to you all is be open-minded. There's nothing wrong with being open-minded. Learn, educate yourself. Learn the, the scriptures, learn these things, and just be respectful. Be honest and respectful. Don't have hatred towards somebody. Having hate inside of your heart is, you're poisoning yourself, you know? So when you look at someone and you're like, oh, why are they so covered? Or, oh my God, why are they homeless? Or, oh my God, why? look at them. They're so filthy or they're poor or they're rich. Look at them, they're, they're stuck up. Stop. Stop being so mean. Stop being so hateful towards people. Because that's you're poisoning yourself while you're doing that. We're not in control of other people's lives. We have our own choices to choose to whether to be gay or straight, uh, transgender, LGBTQIA, or you know, whatever, an ally or not. It doesn't matter. Just be respectful towards others. Because that's what I'm trying to teach these kids, Alexa and Eliana, to be honest and respectful women, you know, empowered, strong women. So it makes you a better person. It makes you a better person to be respectful towards any community in our in our in our in our world we're all the same respect each other love each other regardless of politics regardless of that be loving love one another be be kind be loving to one another